let's say you want to add a coupon field inside the cart page, drawer cart, pop-up cart, add a cart, no matter what type of cart you have. First, you, you will need to install the Carter app and uh, you will need to search for single click setup. If your theme is available with premium configs, you will find it here. For example, if you have the debut theme, the bond list theme, uh, Jobo, uh, no, I mean, you can search. We have over 50 themes and counting. Uh, but in this example of a real store, I have four theme installed. This one is the active one. They renamed them all, so I have no idea what this theme is. I mean, the original name. So I cannot have a single click import config, uh, and I will need to create a custom config. So this is the first step, the first way, pardon me, uh, that you can insert a coupon field via a CSS selector. So I'll call it card page, and I will select the active theme, and uh, I think this is Dutch. Uh, but you can also select custom uh, language and change the labels right there. Um, here uh, is the most important thing. Here at the right are, I mean, the CSS classes that exist in your CSS style sheet or that you can create inside your CSS style sheet uh, that you can, uh, I mean, make the coupon field, the bottom with some classes. So here I will go in my uh, in my in my store, and here I do have made made a, a simple example. But you, if I exit the preview, you will see that I have no uh, coupon field. I will inspect the element, and I will find a unit class. For example, it could be total car total contents or the ID shopping cart total table. So I will say. Well, totals content, I will take it and I will use it with a dot and I will insert it. So then I can edit it and preview it. And you should see it appear here with no any, uh, with no styling. Uh, you can inspect the elements of the other stuff that you have in order to sty start styling it or you can simply add some custom CSS inside your theme uh, uh, your theme.scss.liquid file so your style sheet but if I go here and add a button and I update you should see the bottom that becomes square uh, instead of rounded so if you can if you want you can put uh, the field with I mean, nicer style like here and full width and the bottom full width as well. Um, but I just wanted to show you how you can insert via CSS selector after the page loads. Uh, you can use custom config or if it exists for your theme, you can use a single click setup uh, to, to, have an, uh, to import all these configs that are pre-made by us. Once you're finished, you click publish and uh, you uh, you select a, a subscription plan and, and then you start your free trial and you start to use the app. Another way and the second way to do so is to use the custom templates. And this is aimed to uh, the developers because it requires some CS, I mean, some, some coding skills and knowledge. So I'll call it, for example, Carter. Could, it could be any unique name. And you click generate and this is the code of the placeholder uh, of the coupon code that while it loads and the coupon code itself the script and uh, some styling as well so now I would need to edit this theme and I would need to go edit code in the live theme or in any uh, theme that is not published yet and you will need to find the card page. Probably card.liquid or card-template.liquid. And you will need to find uh, the total contents, which is here. And within or outside of it, you can put 
the script. I mean, you, I'll just paste it there, but you should probably move this uh, somewhere else and just keep what you want here. And you can put, for example, that there and click save. And if you do go back here, you see that the coupon will load with uh, some placeholder animation. And if you want to edit the styling of this, you go back inside your theme, which is there, and you look for the input. For example, I, I just want to add a BDN button. I think that's the class that exists in the theme, but I can also go uh, edit, create my own CSS. I could add my CSS as inline styling, or I could go, for example, in style.css, probably this is the main, and I could go at the bottom and add all my custom CSS that I want, and then I use it, uh, I use the class or the IDs um, here. And you can also change the text that is displayed. I won't add uh, it uh, for you, but uh, I'm just telling you how it works. So you can edit this, you can edit applying, you can edit apply discount, and the other text is somewhere. Well, yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you want to go further than that, you can go here and you see some global function uh, that you can use, but you do have to know some JavaScript and have some knowledge of JavaScript. Uh, but the basic is how to insert the coupon field. There are two ways like I just showed you, one via CSS selector, so single click setup or custom config, and one via the custom templates that is inserted inside the theme. So if I go back in here, I should see now a coupon field that looks like this. 